Another high school foot, football star is accused of raping a female classmate. Deputies charged 18-year-old Justin Jones with second-degree rape and other crimes. The charges stem from an incident that allegedly happened last June. News 13's Mario Boone has been working on this story. Mario, you talked to his parents. Yeah, I found Justin J Jones' parents at the Buncombe County Jail. They had been there all day trying to bond him out, and they shared for the first time Jones is now the recipient of death threats via Facebook. North Buncombe High School football star Justin Jones locked up tonight, charged with second-degree rape, second-degree kidnapping, and crimes against nature. He's very upset. He says that he doesn't belong here, and he does not belong here. The rape allegedly happened behind the school at a rec center last June. It's unclear when police were contacted, but arrest warrants were issued last December, and Justin arrested Monday. This has just ruined him. Justin's mom, dad, and aunt showed up at the Buncombe Jail Wednesday, hoping to bail the 18-year-old out. Tanya Jones insists. Her son didn't do it. There's two sides to every story. The first side by the alleged victim contained in these court papers accusing Justin of confining, restraining, then sexually assaulting the girl. Is there any way possible that he could have done any of the stuff that they say he did? I don't see it. I do not see it. Justin's side, according to his mom, the sex was consensual. They were mutual friends at school. Until, she says, Justin found out the girl was actually under 16 and cut ties. She would call and Justin said, Mama, I can't talk to her. I cannot talk to her. Sheriff's detectives couldn't confirm Justin's account because the case remains under investigation. In a bizarre twist, the story has gone viral on Facebook where Justin is now receiving death threats. It definitely has me worried. It makes me wonder how I'm going to have to protect my son, how I'm going to have to protect my family. Now, the sheriff's office says it learned about those Facebook death threats against Justin from our story. A spokesman says detectives are now investigating that Facebook page. Meanwhile, Justin remains locked up tonight on a $30,000 bond. Larry?